हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू सुरेश अग्रवाल्स मैथमेटिक्स शॉर्टकट्स सो वट आर द बेसिक ऑपरेशन इन विच यू मेक लॉट्स एंड लॉट्स ऑफ एरर्स आई थिंक वन ऑफ द आंसर्स विल बी मल्टीप्लीकेशन द अदर वन मे बी डिविजन बिकॉज हार्डली एनी वन ऑफ अर्स यू नो दे डू डिविजन ओरली एंड फॉर द स्मॉल चिल्ड्रन दे विल से वी कमिट लॉट ऑफ एरर्स इन सब्ट्रैक्शन स्पेशली when the numbers are to be subtracted through borrowing so i am going to simplify this for all the students and i am going to tell you two tricks through which you can actually uh, you know convert these questions of borrowing into no borrowing questions and you know do it mentally when i say do it mentally i mean it and you need to practice that is the ultimate thing in mathematics when you watch something you got to practice it so watch the entire video you are going to learn something specially specially useful for all the school students and obviously for competitive exams simplification mental maths that is what you need to learn and if you have not clicked the subscribe button please do it right now and uh, do not forget to share the channel link with your friends so that they will also know there is some there is some channel you know which is providing us these smart tricks okay so let's have some more slides inserted so that we don't run out of space and here we are no borrowing required tricks for subtraction so the first thing i am going to tell you is little bit of vedic maths and you know vedic maths is everywhere actually we use it but we don't quote it so it's good that you should know that you are using vedic maths right so let's see the first question here we have a question where suppose i have to subtract from the base number 100 and uh, this is like very easy like suppose students have to subtract 38 from this so there are two zeros here and two digits here very easy just subtract each number of this number 38 from 9 the last digit is to be subtracted from 10 so what will you get 9 minus 3 6 and 10 minus 8 2 and that's your Difference hundred minus thirty eight is sixty two, so pretty easy, right? Because it is just the beginning of the video, right? So let's have one more one thousand, which has three zeros, and I need to subtract what? Let's take a three digit number only five hundred and fourteen. Okay, so again three digits here and three zeros here. My answer is going to be direct nine minus five is four. Nine minus one is eight, and ten minus four is six. Four hundred and eighty-six is the difference. Now I'm I'm being clever, right? I'm taking equal number of digits and zeros. So let's complicate it. Let's have one followed by four zeros, and we have to subtract a three-digit number from this. Suppose seven hundred and thirty-seven, right? Now what? So four zeros here, right? So I need four digits. Let's convert it into a four-digit number zero seven three seven. Doesn't matter, right? And now your answer nine minus zero nine nine minus seven two nine minus three six and ten minus seven three. Now pick up the calculators. Ten thousand minus seven thirty seven is nine two six three. Likewise, you can have uh, you know numbers which differ. Like you may have five zeros here one. Two, three, four, five, and you are subtracting a again a three-digit number maybe like uh, let's take five zero seven, okay? Or seven I have already taken here. Let's take six five zero six. So five zeros here. So zero zero five zero six. I need to consider it like this and just start applying all from nine last from ten. Nine minus zero nine nine minus zero nine nine minus five four nine minus zero. Again nine, and finally ten minus six four, and the difference is obtained. So, based on this trick, I will give you some DIYs. So DIYs, do it yourself. Questions: You have to tell me what is the difference of one zero 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 and seven one eight. Okay. Now this is the first one, and the second one one followed by six zeros, and you have to subtract seven three three eight four from this, and you need to tell me. did you get it immediately correct or did you make some errors okay let's move on to the 
second time which is no boring now comes the climax of the video the trick which i am going to tell you has been put on the channel before after this the next one the third slide will contain another trick which hardly anybody uses but that finds the most application in all the competitive exams so you need to do that okay that is also a no boring trick so watch the first question which i am going to take up for no boring is 87 minus 59 now see this number i just have to ensure that this number is easier to handle okay so i would have preferred if this number would have been 60 instead of 59 so what will i do i'll just write 60 in place of this so i increase by one right so i'll increase this number also by one and so i will write 88 and now doing 88 minus 60 is a no borrow no borrowing thing right i don't have to borrow anything unlike here where i had to borrow something so 88 minus 60, 8 minus 6 is 2 and 8 will retain its place because I have a 0 here. So 8 minus 0 is not going to change 8. So I just have to do 8 minus 6 and that gives me my answer for the problem. Yeah, looks a little bit complicated when I do it for the first time but watch the next one. Let's take 123 and I need to subtract 76 from this. Now see again the same thing. This number, I would have been happy if this was 80. So what did I do? I increased by 4, right? So I will increase this also by 4. So what will happen? 123 will become 127. And now the unit digit is not going to change because it is 7 itself. And then 12 minus 8 is 4, we all know. And we have the answer for 123 minus 76, that is 47. Let's take one more example of a three digit number and a two digit number 712 minus 65. So I'll be happy doing what? See, you can be really smart here. If you don't want 70, you can even go for 100. I would do that. Why? Because I know that this is 35 less than what? 100, right? So I will convert this into 100 directly. So that will happen, you know, when you start practicing lots and lots of questions, you will have that in your mind and you will convert this number to a more easier form rather than 70, you will look for 100. Okay. So if I look for 100 here, that means I increase this by 35. So I'll just write quite quietly a 35 here and then have this number 747. I added 35 to this number. Okay. Adding is much more easier than subtracting. Okay. So 747. And now who can't tell me the answer? 747 minus 100 is 647. And that is the exact difference of 712 minus 65. Isn't it easy friends? And you just need to convince yourself that you will do it this way. Because most of the students, they learn the short tricks and they don't apply it. Next, 843 minus 369. 3 digit, 3 digit. Doesn't matter even if it is not 3 digit, okay? So I know that if I add 31 to this, I get 400. So I have to quietly add a 31 here, which makes it 874. And 74, 0, 0. So 74 itself and 8 minus 4 is 4. You have your answer. See, you will never go wrong and you will never do borrowing method. So. Yes, borrowing method is required for junior students because they should understand what they are doing and traditional maths is important because you need the logic behind everything. Why are you doing that? But when you grow up, when you go in class 6 and above, you need to be smart. If you are still following the traditional approaches, there will be students who are smarter than you and they will be among top 1% of the students, not you. So you got to be smart enough to handle the uh, without borrowing uh, stuff, you know, and find the answers. Likewise, here comes another no borrowing trick. So if you are good in integers, that to single digit integers. Now this one is going to be the exclusive thing for this video. Let's pick up one example. 471 minus 189. So you know this is borrowing, right? 1 and 9. So 9 is greater. So it is a problem in which I have to borrow. 
but let's do it the smart way here we have three digits here you have three digits if these number of digits are less you can prefix zeros okay and make it equal so it doesn't matter even if you have less number of digits here now subtract the corresponding digits Seven, 4 minus 1 is 3 I will put slash 7 minus 8 now it is minus 1 1 minus 9 minus 8 so we have some negative numbers here. and obviously you will get negative numbers because it is a question of no uh, it is a question of borrowing right now see what I do very very simple trick and if you follow the next step which I am telling you no subtraction will be difficult for you whether it is a 7 8 digit subtraction minus a 5 6 digit subtraction you will do that within seconds and that too without error watch the next step where we have negative integers okay so what am i going to do here is see this is negative so i will subtract this from n okay so this becomes 2 but in that case the previous number gives away 1 that is why this is being subtracted from 10 and so minus 1 becomes one more less which is minus 2 and 3 doesn't change now see what did I do I converted this to positive by subtracting it from 10 so I got 2 but this has to give away 1 therefore minus 1 became minus 2 and now same step here this has to give away 1 so this will get subtracted from 10 what will be your answer 2 10 minus 2 is 8 and 3 gave away 1 and became 2 and there is your answer now at the first look you will say oh this is tricky and this is going to induce errors but let me tell you friends these are tested methods if you practice them nothing like it let's see another one 3 7 4 5 so I am taking a 4 digit number and I have to subtract 947 from this so this is a 3 digit number and this is a 4 digit number so I will prefix a 0 ok so 3 minus 0 3 7 minus 9 minus 2 you have to subtract the corresponding digits ok and 4 minus 4 0 5 minus 7 minus 2 see I wrote the 4 numbers now I have this negative number so this gives away 1 and this gets subtracted from 10 so this is 8 0 becomes minus 1 because it gave, gave away 1 correct and then now you can do one more step simultaneously here 3 gives away 1 so this becomes 10 minus 2 8 and 3 becomes 2 now 8 has to give away 1 and your answer will be 8 9 7 2 now you can pick up the calculators and check 2 7 9 8 is that the difference of these two numbers and you will be surprised by the accuracy of the results see we, we hardly confront numbers like five digit six digit numbers right so we have to face only what numbers up to 10,000 for subtraction four digit numbers if you are practicing five digit numbers six digit numbers two digit three digit four digit are not going to you know trouble you anytime let's see one more question where I will take five digit numbers so I've written some questions here one five 3, 8, 2, minus 7, 0, 5, 6. So you can see 5 digits, 4 digits. Okay. So what am I going to do? I will put a 0. Then corresponding digits. 1 minus 0 is 1. 5 minus 7 is minus 2. 3 minus 0 is 3. 8 minus 5 is 3 again. 2 minus 6 is minus 4. So how many negatives I have? 2 negatives. And that's pretty easy for me. You know how? Subtract from 10, give away 1. Subtract from 10, give away 1. You will have your answer. See? 10 minus 4, 6. 3 gave away 1, so 2. 3 doesn't change. 10 minus 2, 8. And 1 gave away 1, so 0. And here you have the answer. Now pick up the calculators again and check 8, 3, 2, 6. Is that the answer? And now, see the beautiful thing i am taking a big number 5 6 3 3 7 5 and let's subtract 2 0 2 9 8 from this see big question of borrowing and it can be done without borrowing like this 6 digits 5 digits so 6 
फाइव माइनस जीरो फाइव सिक्स माइनस टू फोर थ्री माइनस जीरो थ्री थ्री माइनस टू वन ऑल पॉजिटिव दैट्स इजी फॉर मी सो सेवन माइनस नाइन ओ फाइनली आई हैव नेगेटिव माइनस टू एंड देन फाइव माइनस एट अगेन नेगेटिव माइनस थ्री करेक्ट सो हाउ मेनी स्टेप्स डू यू थिंक आर रिक्वायर्ड हियर यू कैन स्टार्ट इवन फ्रॉम हियर rather rather than here doesn't matter but i i always do it from the right hand side so this gives away 1 10 minus 3 becomes 7 what does this become now this becomes minus 3 correct because it gave away 1 now this will give away 1 so 10 minus 3 will become 7 and 0 this will be 0 why because 1 minus 1 is 0 and the remaining numbers are not going to change and now you can verify your answer using the traditional approach i think you are going to consume three times as much time as we did here for doing it without borrowing so friends how many tricks you learned three tricks one when you have to subtract numbers from 100 1000 10000 100000 and so on that is subtraction from base numbers the second one what did you do in the previous slide i told you that the numbers can be subtracted by converting the subtrahend into a much easier number adding the same thing to both both the numbers minimum and subtrahend and then performing the subtraction see 712 65 65 becomes 100 so 712 becomes 747 borrowing becomes no borrowing this is the second method and the third method obviously is the horizontal subtraction my favorite i do subtraction like this and i don't have to write all these steps i write the answer directly and that's what you will be able to do if you do it like this so friends you got to practice that is the key okay and let me know in the comments how did you like the trick and please share the tricks these are all for you and if more and more people watch the educators also feel motivated so do subscribe the channel if you have not done till now and click the bell shaped icon for getting all the notifications thanks for watching this and all the best for your practice